Welcome back to Layton's All. Uh, today I'm actually uh, transplanting a pile of my uh, starter plants. Uh, I'm not sure, can you guys see that compost? Yes, you can. Now I did a video uh, about a year, year and a half ago about uh, this compost. I put it all up in a big pile at the end of the horse's paddock and it's broken down now and now I'm using it for uh, my buckets for my new greenhouse. Because uh, I'm just planting my plants in buckets down here. Now, because I'm planting things in buckets, and I'm not planting them in the dirt, I'm adding some uh, uh, calcium, which I collect all my egg shells throughout the winter, dry them out, crush them, and uh, I put a little bit in my uh, soil for my... Uh, buckets. I also use a little bit of Epsom salt. Not very much. Just a very little bit because it's in pots is the main reason I'll use Epsom salt. If it was in the ground I wouldn't even use it. Because there's usually lots of sulfate and uh, uh, sulfur and magnesium in the ground. But because this one could be limited I always had just a little bit. Now I've already done uh, Oh, about 60 or 70 gallons of topsoil or compost in the buckets. I might have used a cup of Epsom salt in all of it. I use very little, hardly any at all. Now you don't have to, I just, I do just because I want to be cautious to make sure that my tomato plants are getting what they need. This is my Roma tomato plant, which I have in a, a pot. So what I'm actually going to do is pull off all these lower branches and all the weeds that are in there, <laughs> get them out of there. Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to plant this plant right up to this bottom leaf in the new soil. Okay, that's this one. I hope you guys were able to see that. You probably couldn't even see it. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, this is in now. It's in a five gallon pail, six gallon pail actually. So I planted them right down to those top leaves. So yeah, these are all the pots and stuff that I have here. Now you notice there's a bunch of different pots and different things. I don't go out and buy pots for my plants. These are just uh, buckets from the homestead that has holes in them or whatever I manage to scrounge up around So yeah, like I recycle everything I don't waste money just to go out and buy things when I can use something else that works just as well So yeah <laughs> So those are all my tomatoes that I planted this morning now. That's just in this greenhouse my other Greenhouse high tunnel uh, has tomato plants actually in the ground right now And they've been in the ground for a while so yeah, and these are my peppers. Now pepper plants are a little bit different. You don't bury them any deeper than what the starters are because they will not produce. Now peppers are a little bit different than tomato plants uh, because the stock on a pepper plant uh, don't produce new roots. So if you bury them too deep, which too deep is uh, deeper than what they actually are in their starter pots. So you want to make sure you always you never bury them any deeper than what they were before you transplanted them. Uh, because if you do, what will happen is is with the moisture that's in the soil when you water them, it will cause the pepper plant stock to rot, and your plant will die. So you don't want to do that. So yeah, I'm going to keep going. I have uh, another one, two. Three. Well, I've got three more pots that i got to do, plus a, a big tray 
that I'm going to do, but the, the rest of the plants that are going in here now are going to be uh, peppers. And peppers and tomatoes, they pretty well need the same nutrients, so I'll do the same thing. Uh, a little bit of calcium, uh, a little bit of the, the salt, uh, the Epsom salt. Uh, like I said, the only reason I'm using Epsom salt here is because these plants are going in pots. If they were going in the soil, I wouldn't use Epsom salt at all because there's probably more than enough in the soil. But here, because it's in a confined space, the main reason I had it is because I think my plants may end up like using all of the, the magnesium, sulfate, calcium, whatever's in that compost pile up because they're going to become bigger plants and they need more nutrients. So this is why I had it, that little bit of extra in there. Now, it's not necessary. A lot of people will disagree with me, which is fine. But this is just how I like to plant my plants when I'm putting them in big pots. It seems to uh, give me a, a pretty good result. So, yeah, you can see, uh, I'll show you guys, these are my peppers that I'm going to be transplanting today. These peppers. Uh, that's my broccoli. I left it outside one night, which wasn't supposed to be a real cold night which I should know better. <laughs> uh, it went down to like three degrees, which is not real good for broccoli. Uh, about seven degrees is their sweet spot. Uh, they like around seven degrees, no colder. If they get colder than that, it usually stunts their growth and they don't produce very big heads of broccoli. So I put them in the greenhouse. Hopefully I sold them. Uh, I see a lot of them, a lot of them got their, bread, or their leaves broken off from the wind that night. So that's on me, that's my fault. But yeah, uh, I think I showed you guys how to prune tomato plants. Uh, I don't know if I ever showed you after it was done, so I'll show you now. This is one that I pruned. So now you can see there's like one. There's two heads coming off that one right now. And look, there's little bugs on there. I'll get them all off because I don't use any chemicals. They're only usually on these plants when they're young. Once they, the plants get bigger and the leaves get thicker, these bugs kind of go away. But I will go around and kind of crush and kill all those bugs that are on my plants before I transplant them. That one actually had a lot on it. This one has none. And this is another one that I pruned. See, and you see there's two heads coming out of that one now. Three, another one shooting out there, and another one there. The reason I do that is because I like... A lot of people say it doesn't produce extra peppers, but I believe it does. Uh, and it also gives the pepper plant a, a really strong base. The base will get much thicker, and it can hold much more fruit. That's why I do that. I'll show you guys my broccoli plants. They're pretty sad looking. <laughs> Because I left them outdoors. But this, I think they'll still do okay. I'm going to keep them in here for about another week or so. And then I'm going to put them out in my raised bed outside. By then, the temperature at night should be up around 9 and 8 degrees. I'm hoping. Alright, this is just a real short video. Uh, thanks for watching. Maybe consider subscribing. Uh, smash that like button. And uh, don't forget that, that bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.